Hey guys, it's Becky with Design Bundles, and today I am here to talk to you about my 10 favorite keyboard shortcuts to use in Silhouette Studio. So I love that Silhouette Studio gives me these tools and makes them even easier. You know, it just takes a little bit of memory, but you know, once you get used to using these shortcuts, it'll be second nature and you'll be uh, working with your designs in no time. Alrighty, so we have Silhouette Studio open and I want to go ahead and tell you where you can find not only a lot of good information, but you can find all of these shortcuts that we're going to talk about today. So I'm listing out my favorite 10 that I use, I would say at least on a daily basis. But if you go to help, now this is inside Silhouette Studio, if you go to help and you click on user's manual, this is where you find so this is the user's manual for Silhouette Studio, and there's a lot of really great information in here. I do recommend giving it a browse, but if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, that is where you find these keyboard shortcuts. So like I said, we are going to go ahead and go through our favorite 10, but it's not a bad idea to save or print out this page for future reference. Um, that way you don't have to come look it up every single time. So back in Silhouette Studio, let's go ahead and take a look at our 10 favorite keyboard shortcuts. First and foremost, number one, this has to be hands down the most used shortcut uh, since I've started doing anything in Silhouette Studio. That is going to be the undo button. Okay, so undo is control Z or command Z, and it basically undoes anything that I could think to do. Okay, so for example, I draw this box and I decide I don't really need a box, let's get rid of it. I can choose control Z and I can continue to hit control Z until it's gone. And that is true, okay, so you have an icon up here but using that keyboard shortcut is ultra, ultra valuable. And I would say, um, you know, one of the best shortcuts that you can make yourself learn. Now, shortcut number two is, it's really more than one, but it's the cut, copy, and paste combo. Now, cut, copy, and paste are not, and same with undo, those are not exclusive to Silhouette Studio. Um, you also find these in a lot of other programs, so getting to know them well is always useful and uh, something I think that you'll use a lot more than you realize. Now, cut, copy, and paste. Let's go back to our box. Okay, if I want to cut the box, which means I cut it out of the picture. It takes it out of the picture, it removes it from that area, but it saves it to my clipboard so I can then paste it back where I need to. So what it does is I can cut and paste. I'm using those keyboard shortcuts. So control X and control V. If I want to create a duplicate, I can control C for copy and control V for paste and I get a duplicate. And of course I can repeat this over and over and so Studio will take care of it for me with the use of those shortcuts. And that brings us to number three. Number three is duplicating. Now, you can also find this under your replicate panel. All right, these on the very top row are your duplicate icons. But let's take a look at how to do it on your keyboard. This is going to be using your control arrow and any directional arrow on your keyboard. So let's take a look. If I draw a circle or any shape, okay, I can now use control and my right arrow to create duplicates. If I want to create duplicates below, I use my down arrow and now my left arrow, and I can keep going to my heart's content using that duplicate. Now let's take a look at number four. Number four is group. So grouping is when you take several shapes or fonts or any type of design 
and you want to group them together to be able to size them or maybe they just want to hang out. Your keyboard shortcut for that is control and the letter G. So if I want to take, we'll say this time we'll do, we'll mix it up a little bit, do a box and a circle. I can select them both and I can hit control G on my keyboard and now they are grouped together. There is a keyboard shortcut for ungroup. Uh, I don't seem to use it nearly as much as I do group. If you are interested in grouping and ungrouping without the shortcut, you can do that with these two icons up here. So I seem to use the icon to ungroup because it's less common for me. And then I use the shortcut for grouping. And now let's talk about number five. Number five is the weld shortcut. So the weld shortcut is a little bit more complicated because it includes an extra button, but it is going to be control and shift and W. So let's try out that theory. Let's use some letters. We've been using shapes. So if I want to weld these together, let's choose a pretty script font. There we go. If I want to weld these together, use my duplicate, and I'm going to choose Control and Shift and W. And there we go, we have our unwelded and our welded. So moving on to number six. Number six is turning your grid on and off. Now this can also be done in your page setup menu. Okay, show grid, turn grid off. But let's take a look at if I hit the letter G on my keyboard. Nothing else is needed, I just hit G. There we go. I can turn it on and off as many times as I need to. Now moving on to number seven, this is really useful if you are using print and cut a lot. We are going to talk about registration marks. Okay, so literally all I'm going to do is use the M on my keyboard. And it turns my registration marks on and off. Now, these are found under your page setup menu to turn on manually here. And using the M shortcut does not change the fact that you still need to come and check the size of your page. But if you happen to be designing a printable and perhaps your letter is already set, there we go, then you would just be able to use M to turn them on and off. Now moving on to number eight, this one I find extremely useful and it is turning my crosshairs on and off using control H. Now crosshairs, this is a feature of designer edition and higher. So don't be too alarmed if you do not have crosshairs yet, but can you see on the screen where I have the gray lines following around my cursor? If I use control H, those go away. So on, off, on, off. A lot of people hit these by mistake and then they're saying, what are these lines following my cursor around? Well, control H and you can make them go away, but just another little tip, I suggest uh, leaving them on and learning how to use them for your designing capabilities. And by the way, crosshairs can be turned on and off manually again under your page setup menu. These are under your grid setting right here. Now number nine is extremely useful if you are used to zooming in and out. It is fit to window. So basically I can zoom out as far as I want and I'm gonna use control one and it brings my mat right back to my fit to window position. Same thing if I zoom in Control one, fit to window. What if I get all the way over here? Sometimes it happens when we're designing. Control one, fit to window. Really, really useful and um, just kind of makes things a lot easier to bring them back into perspective. And last but not least, let's talk about number 10. Creating text on your workstation. So let's take a look at that. All I have to do is type the letter T and see how my cursor changes to a little text icon. Then I click on my keyboard and I can type 
anything I want to. So T, click, hello, T, click, howdy, T, click, goodbye. And it's as easy as that. So those are my favorite keyboard shortcuts. Of course, we showed you where to go. That way you can develop your own favorite keyboard shortcuts. And uh, you know, it just really moves things along faster once you get in the habit of using those in your daily routine. So if you have any questions or comments or you wanna share with us your favorite keyboard shortcut, make sure you put those in the comments below. We do always come back and check with you guys. And of course, we have a lot of great tutorials planned for you in the future, both in the software and project inspiration. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you again next time.